Hello students, today we are going to study a very exciting chapter in chemistry, acids, bases and salts. To study this chapter, let me take you to your favorite place in the house, yes to the kitchen. How we love to come and snack on things in the kitchen, but today I'll be showing you how these simple food substances are so much related to the chemistry we study. So let's take a few substances out of the fridge. We have vinegar, bitter gourd that is karela, girkin that is tindi, lemon, methi that is fenugreek and my favorite imli that is tamarind. Now what we will do is we are going to taste each of these substances and classify them as bitter or sour. Vinegar is sour to taste. Karela is bitter. Girkin is also bitter to taste. Lemon is again sour. Methi tastes bitter and Imli is again sour to taste. Now you may think that why are some substances sour to taste and why the others are bitter? To answer this lies in the chemical composition of these substances. Lemon students have citric acid in it. Tamarind contains tartaric acid whereas vinegar it has acetic acid. These acids give these ingredients a sour taste. So students, we can conclude that substances that have sour tastes are acids, whereas substances that have bitter taste are bases. Let us now understand the definition of acids and bases. The substances which are sour to taste have acidic ingredients and their solutions are acidic. Acids can also be defined as substances which contains hydrogen and when dissolved in water gives hydrogen ions or hydronium ions as the only positively charged ions. Let's try to understand this using an example. Let's take a molecule of hydrochloric acid. When we put a molecule of HCl in water, it splits up into H plus and Cl minus ions. These H plus ions when combines with water forms hydronium ions as the only positively charged ions. Let's try to understand bases. Bases are defined as substances that are bitter to taste. Bases can also be defined as substances which dissociate to give OH- ions in water. Let's take for example sodium hydroxide. NaOH when added to water will dissociate into Na plus and OH-. So this molecule will have a hydroxyl ion as the only negatively charged ion in water. So now students, can we determine whether a substance is acidic or basic simply by tasting each and every substance? No, definitely not. Why? Because certain acids and bases are highly corrosive in nature and cannot be touched or tasted. So then, how do we determine whether these substances are acidic or basic. This can be done by using indicators. 